Hello, I'm Aldo Fakin from Leica Geosystems and I'm R&D manager for mobile mapping. Uh, today we have here the new Pegasus backpack, a product that we announced uh, one month ago and we released at the end of September. And this is uh, the first wearable mobile mapping system. Uh, the Pegasus backpack is able to position itself uh, uh, both outdoor and indoor. So you, can, you do not need to take care about the GPS coverage. You can start outdoor with GPS and IMU and come to indoor and uh, uh, engage a SLAM technology for indoor position. Uh, it comes with five cameras and can be stitched together to build a 360 degree half panorama, half because it's back of you, and a dual LiDAR system, a multi-beam LiDAR system with 16 uh, beam each one, uh, one vertical for the application and one horizontal to help the slam uh, resolution. Uh, the weight is uh, 13 kilo, around 26 pounds, so it is uh, not only compliant with any um, work uh, uh, regulation and, and safety, but also very comfortable because we did through an ergonomic study and we put all the weight on the lowest part so when you wear it uh, you feel very comfortable and you can work for hour and hour. It's completely battery operated and with the four battery you can work uh, more than four hours and the battery are hot swappable. Uh, the operation of the system come through a, a touch tablet and here we have a preview of what the system is doing. So we have the camera, we have the dual LiDAR and parameter about the quality of the trajectory. Um, at the end of the processing, the data come into a workflow completely designed into RGIS. So you, you have your uh, trajectory information, you have your panorama image, and the point cloud uh, in an extension that work inside RGIS desktop and allow to you to extract feature, uh, do analysis and um, do all the tasks related to professional documentation activity. We mean professional documentation taking picture and point cloud of a site with a authoritative time stamping, year, month, day and authoritative position. Uh, mainly for the construction industry.